Boxing Voice. BoxingVoice.com live with Alantes Fox here from the Resorts World Casino where he just got his uh, unanimous decision win. So what would you grade your performance today? If I had to grade my performance, more than likely a C plus, maybe a C minus. Now, uh, it's been some time since we've seen you. Uh, what are you looking to have your activity more like now that you're signed with Lou DiBella? It's actually been a year, but hopefully uh, with two months, every two months getting a fight. And once we move up in rounds, every three, maybe, you know, so hopefully we get busy. Now, how soon are you looking to get in there with some of those big names? I know right now you're 13-0. You need to get a couple of fights under your belt, uh, you know, just to get the rust off. But I know taking a year off, you, there has to be some disappointment and some just overall anxiousness. It's always some anxiousness, even when I'm not taking that time off. That, that year off, it made me hungry, but... We also been in camp uh, for this for this specific fight for about three months because uh, people uh, fights kept falling out and cancellations and stuff. But uh, we here now, and like I said, hopefully, yeah, like you said, get some get some uh, fight, some good fights under my belt and big names maybe within this next year. Now. Uh, a guy that you had a draw with in uh, Frank Galarza, he's going to be headlining here. Uh, just looking back on that, I mean, again, any disappointment because you could have been headlining. I mean, I, got to, I definitely got to support him. We got that draw, and every time he wins, it makes me look good. You know, of course, I was disappointed when it happened, but I got, it's a good outcome now. Now I got, a, I got Debella and a new legend promoting me, and we're going we're gonna to get back to work. Now, was tonight's goal just to get some rounds under your belt because of the one-year layoff? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did want to get a lot of the rounds in. Uh, if the knockout would have came out, I definitely would have took it, but uh, I hurt my elbow uh, within this camp, you know, because the camp was so long. I hurt my elbow, had a few injuries coming in the fight, but I wanted to take it and make sure I, I get this get this, rank, uh, get this first this first fight in after that year. Uh, we're going to come back, come back strong, hopefully. Now, what do you think you got to do to get some of that man strength out of you? I mean, such a tall guy, good reach, but you only have four KOs at this point. I mean, I guess it comes with uh, sitting down, my punches more, uh, taking time to set things up a little bit more. I mean, knockouts come, but I don't feel a, I don't feel a need to go to war with some of these dudes right now. It's no, it's no need for that. So you feel you're just the superior boxer? Yeah, I'm a superior boxer to a lot of people, to even some of the bigger names. So, yeah, like I said, there's no need to go to war with no names and, you know, get hurt and get cut like I did tonight, you know, and build up scar tissue. There's no need for that. So keep boxing, try to stay untouched as much as possible, keep working. So now you're looking for two months to get back in the ring. Uh, when do you think you get the word from your promoters? Uh, probably tomorrow. They'll probably be telling me about the next fight. All right, man. Thank you. Boxing Voice.